but then then again she was a christian we were all christians so um she was kind of it's kind of understandable she ended up saying things like that but it it ended up being that she ended up okay um but after that incident um <clears throat> she she never really was the same like i couldn't tell but she told me that she never she felt that she, her her body never really behaved the same after that accident um like some of her motor functions is uh, just weren't right the same anymore like i think she can't lift her <clears throat> sorry about that my neck is kind of clogging up because it is a cold day outside <clears throat> But she told me that she can't lift her right arm above her shoulder anymore. Um, so I guess that's one of the effects that the accent had on her. And um, she, her memory got really screwed up. Um, she has, she's not really technically a, a short-term memory loss patient, but really we believe that she does. She forgets things very easily. And uh, before she forgot things, yeah, but it, they, were, they were like minor things. But now she's forgetting like really important stuff, like to pass her to her own email account, like. God, how do you forget that? But um, these days, I kind of sometimes I have. It's, these days, it's not as bad. But after, right immediately after the accident, when she got home from the ER, um, she would forget lots of things. It was really frustrating on all of us, especially on me because I didn't really know what happened. All I knew was that uh, she got into some accident, but I didn't know how badly she was hurt. So I didn't uh, because I didn't understand. I was getting really mad at her, saying like, "Oh, why are you? Why are you forgetting things like this? Why are you forgetting like this? You're forgetting your email. Uh, you're forgetting the password to your own email." Like I was really bashing on her, not knowing what kind of pain she went through. And now, now kind of looking back, I don't really regret it because i don't my cre my personal creed is not to regret anything but i definitely do feel really bad that i treated her like that without knowing what kind of things that she went through and even after all that even even though it was technically my brother's fault and he knows it he knows that it was his fault for running the car like that for driving recklessly in a hazardous weather uh, condition but my mom never my mom never blamed him he she never holds anything against my older brother even though he was the reason why my my mom suffered the way she did that day on that accident she never raised a word about like oh why did you have to do this uh to me why did you have to do this to me, David? Because uh, David is the um, the name of my older brother. Why did you have to do this to me, David? She never said that. And I, of course, that's kind of like the filial, that's kind of like the, uh, not the filial, but that's kind of like the, kind of the parents' love that, you know, I've seen in families. But personally, how do I say that? How do I forgive someone like that? Really? I mean, to her, it was nothing. All she had to do, for her personally, all she had to deal with was that the pain from the accident, like from her injuries, and uh, all the consequences that came after it. How do I, how do I personally, you know, how do I, how do I do something like that? It, it just boggles my mind. How do I, how do I, it's, it's just out of my, it's just out of my um, powers and my control. How do I forgive someone that easily? It's 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 truly amazing if I think about what my mom had to go through. She had to give birth to me when um when she was pretty much unfit to uh, give birth because she was really old by, uh, at that time. I think she was like thirty, like her mid thirties, uh, when she gave birth to me. Also, she had to deal with the birth, uh, the death of my technically my older my older sibling between me and my older brother um, that I have right now. Uh, she had to deal with the death of that child. Also, she had to deal with both her sons bullshit over the years as she was raising them up including me also another the one last thing that i want to talk about mom was that she also had another near-death incident where um ironically enough it was to treat the injuries and like the uh, the the effects that the accident had on her a year later or like sometime later a couple of years or a year later um she went to like um she went to like a what do you call those in uh, English? She went to like a, a medicinal, like an herbal me medicine maker. Like, and, and so you're, some of you Asian guys would know what I'm trying to talk about, or all of you Asian guys should know what I'm talking about. Um, like this shop where they make like herbal medicines, like those bitter, bitter herbal medicines, like the black ones. You guys know what I'm talking about if you guys have tasted those and like your parents have forced you to make, uh, to, to, uh, to drink those. But she went to the, one of those one day and she ordered like some concoction so that she could take in order to uh, help her body kind of regain her strength again. However, what ended up happening was that herbal medicine company, or not, not company, but that shop, 
mix something that they weren't supposed to by accident. And one of the key components in those kinds of herbal, herbal medicines is a really, really bitter substance. I don't really know what it's called in English, but it's really, really bitter. And if you take too much of that, it can easily kill anyone, like any human being, like just flat out just kill anyone. It's only supposed to be in that in those herbal medicines in like minute qualities, or in not qualities, but quantities, but they put too much of that in. They, I think the I think the hospital said that they put in like at least twice as much as they were supposed to. And um, in the middle of the night one day, my mom kind of got up and said, uh, told her, told her, uh, told her husband, my dad, said, saying, uh, "Honey, I'm I'm feeling really, really sick right now." So she went to the bathroom, tried try to purging herself, for lack of a better term, but she couldn't really she couldn't really get rid of the the pain. And all of a sudden, she her body got started, according to her anyway, her body started really heating up. She felt really really uncomfortable, and soon she started feeling really nauseated. She 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 threw up during the night, I think like three times, and she tried going back to bed and drinking lots of water, but nothing really worked for her. So my dad, um, partly out of like just like just to just just to make you be quiet, but oh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, in the middle of the night, my dad drove her down to the ER, and she checked into uh, to um, the hospital again. And they determined that she was she was she actually got poisoned. She was out. She was flat. She no, there was no getting around it. She got poisoned, and to this day, she is still fighting a legal battle. Um, against that particular um, medicine medicine making shop for getting getting legal uh, legal compensation for what they did to her in that kind of like uh, in that drink that they uh, prescribed to her like they are not supposed to do that yet they 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 did it by accident but yet they are still denying what they did and it's it's given a whole another world of hell for my mother and I didn't know this. I didn't know any of this until well, I had an idea, but I didn't know the full scope of her problems and her pain until like last year. Until I started helping with her um, with like legal papers because obviously she can't really speak English well, and oftentimes she asks me to write things like write letters for her, revise the letters for her because maybe her English grammar isn't the best. So I have to kind of go through them and make sure that they're top-notch quality in terms of, like as far as grammar goes. And as I started paying attention to what she was doing, she, man, she really, really went through some shit. I mean, I thought, I thought I had it bad, but as I was kind of getting out of my emo state out of middle school and um, during those rocky puberty years, I really started to realize my problems aren't necessarily as bad as hers, as my own mom's. And I didn't know about this until now. I didn't know about this until now. Like, holy fucking crap. I didn't know about this until right the fuck now. So, it kind of gave me something a little bit to think about. So, it kind of changed my perspective on, yeah, maybe when I say those kinds of things to my mother, like, when I say, like, oh, I hate my mom. I hate my mom because she, she doesn't know what I'm feeling like. She doesn't know what I have to go through. Maybe I should kind of reconsider what I'm going through, what I'm saying. So, <sighs> Yeah, I think this uh, could, should effectively conclude um, this video. I don't know because obviously, as I'm looking at this timer right now, I'm been, I've been talking for like 31 minutes now, so I don't know if this uh, this video will be split into two parts or if I'm gonna just mash them all together. I'm probably gonna end up making it splitting this into two parts, but. Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary. Um, I don't really know if you guys are. I don't know if my audience is really the audience to um, kind of be appropriate for this kind of topic but because today was mother's day i do want to just urge you guys all of you if you do have your mother still with you just just at least at least show some respect at least show a little bit of love to your moms because maybe maybe you might be in my situation or someone else's situation where uh, situations where you might have gone through some things where you might not you know talk to your mothers again or flat out you might ever you might not even be able to talk to your moms again so this is just a little 
commentary for you guys to consider. Um, I know I don't usually do something like this. In fact, I think this is like the second video that I've done, done like a serious sit down. Um, I don't want to say chill, laid back commentary right now because I mean it's not chill. It's a really serious topic. But in any case, hope you guys have really enjoyed it, guys. And yeah. I hope you guys have a great Mother's Day. Uh, spend some time uh, with your mothers if you guys still have them. Uh, if you guys can still have the chance to s tell them and say "I love you, mom," and uh, I know I'm gonna be doing that soon t later today. And yeah, I'm not afraid to say that I do indeed love my mom. I'm definitely gonna miss her once I go off to college. So, anyways, guys, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, this first video or this first p uh, series of videos for the new series that I have called "To Hell with KDR." <laughs> quite the uh, quite the title for a video like the video topic like this. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. I really do hope that you do give this video some love. I, I have never asked you guys to kind of give this video like likes or something like that. But for the sake of Mother's Day, for the sake of those of uh, those of you guys who do not have mothers, or if you have mothers, for, if you are fortunate enough to still know you still know your mothers to this day, then just just vi show some videos some love and make sure if you don't do that then at least go to your mothers if you know them or not even if they are not here with you guys if if they've passed away if they're not here with you guys anymore at least take some time to think about uh, your your deceased mothers and say that you miss them and you kind of wish that they they are still here with you with you guys so anyways guys I really thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later my name is Asian Psycho aka Tor Sniper 98 and I am out thanks for watching guys and have a great Mother's Day